Okay, so the border starts at their fence. It's actually a red post there you can just see under the bush and near the fence. And I walked from there across your to your property. That took me 17 steps. If we look on this chart, that's probably about a 30 foot wide thing. And this is the boundary here. And as you can see, your boundary, your driveway, they put right on the boundary, literally. Uh, so you have a 30 foot wide opening, I'm guessing. And maybe 20 meters, something like that. We have to look on the chart. But you have plenty of room, and as you move up the hillside, obviously you can't tell very easily because it's not cleared, but um, this whole ridge going all the way up to Paul Smith, you can see that fence, and it goes beyond, oh, just about up to that palm tree. So then from that palm tree, it goes all the way over to that big tree and it's one and a quarter acres and of course the desirable view spot is where this tree is in the middle of the lot and what I kind of thought was it would be nice if you wanted to want to have one in the state that you put your house there because it's uh, well below Paul Smith's it's got a nice ridge and it might look kind of good with your guest house kind of off-centered as opposed to your house up by that tree, which is the kind of current plan. So then you would have, from Bob's house, you would move across the ridge to your guest house, you would start moving up and higher to your house, and you'd have plenty of space to come all the way back down. Of course, you could develop that as its own house but I really think with an acre and a quarter, it's quite a lot of land. 